okay, I did see this movie last year, but I was waiting until the mass release to do my review. I needed time to think about this one, really. I needed to let it sink in because it has a really interesting message to it. So I'm going to be talking about the movie Her, starring Joaquin Phoenix, Amy Adams, Scarlett Johansson, and Chris Pratt. Now, it's directed by Spike Jones, and it tells the tale of a man who's just come out of a divorce, and he finds a relationship with a new operating system on his phone. So I'm going to talk about all the five factors, the acting, the directing, the story, the cinematography, and the score. Let's talk about the acting first. Joaquin Phoenix does a terrific job in playing this almost deadpanned, emotionless person who is trying to find somebody or something that he can relate to. So the operating system is, is voiced by Scarlett Johansson and she did a really good job of convincing you that this AI had a real personality, just the way that she used her voice. So when you read how this movie came together, like let's talk about the directing a little bit. It wasn't Scarlett Johansson that was originally in that role. It was somebody else. And Joaquin Phoenix based his, his performance off of somebody else. And to get back on the directing, they had some really interesting production design, costume design, and cinematography. The cinematography really stood out in this film. And to talk a little bit about the score, the movie was accented by some of the piano pieces that Samantha, the AI system, would write, some acoustic pieces, uh, Karen O's song, The Moon Song, I think it's called. I, I like that song. That's a nice song. So let's talk about the story. I'm going to try to be delicate with this because it is a sensitive matter for some people. Okay, I saw this like two days after The Wolf of Wall Street where people walked out of that movie. Now, when I went to see her, people walked out of that movie. Um, they walked out at the hour mark, and they walked out at the hour and a half mark. Like, like it just lost people. So let's examine why that would be. I liked the story. I think there was some value in it. I liked how the computer learned to love, but then you get so invested in the relationship, you almost get a sense of betrayal at the end. You feel betrayed by her. And I understand that the AI just grew and grew and grew, and you know, just wanted to go further, but I think people walked out of this movie because, let's, let's think about this. A man is falling in love with a computer. He's having a relationship, a sexual relationship. What am I watching exactly? I'm watching a man and technology grow together, but if you take the technology out of it, it's just a man and is he a sane man? The other thing that somebody brought up, too, was this. If the voice was not done by Scarlett Johansson and it was done by somebody who was a no-name, would it still have been as powerful? Because all of us guys out there hear Scarlett Johansson, we visualize it in our head, that's her. Now, I'm not sure if that's what the director wanted. Perhaps that's what he wanted, but think about it. Would it have been as effective? And I'm not sure it would have been. Because as I said, it's just a man talking to a computer. Right? And that, I think, people just saw it as a gimmick. It lasted for maybe 30 minutes for them. And then once it got past that gimmick, they're just like, okay, this guy's got to get a grip on reality and stop doing this. So maybe it angered people. I'm not sure why. I just think you have to go into this movie with an open mind knowing that it's about technology, knowing the brief synopsis of what you're getting yourself involved in. But at the end, when the credits started, and I was sitting in my seat, I was thinking about it. This is not a happy movie. It doesn't have all, like, sunshine and roses at the end. It doesn't make you feel good. And if it does make you feel good, let me know how and why in the comments below. Okay, so I did talk about the five factors. Out of my points, I'm going to say 3 out of 5. That's an 8 out of 10. Alright, that's my review for her. 
If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe! But where I may lose some of you is when I'm going to be talking about the story. So I'm going to talk about the story. And I'm going to try to be delicate about this. Because, yeah, he falls in love with the, the AI. That's interesting. They have, like, virtual sex. Which I guess is the safest form of sex. But, you know, he has this full, like, relationship. Biggest takeaway that I got from it was... The AI really didn't understand love. Like, not at all. Because if she loved him, there was some sacrificing that she would have had to do to stay with him. Because he's just a, he's just a man. And he's only going to be around for so long. Not everybody liked this movie.